the first place you want to start if you want to look for them on the cheap is thrift stores and yard sales and flea markets. Basically some of the first and best stuff that I had found was at these places. They're usually at less than a buck, 50 cents. Um, if you buy multiples, you can negotiate. Some of the coolest ones that I found, um, here is The Smith Self-Titled, which is a great album. If you haven't already seen my cassette collection, um, I have another cassette video. I'll try to link it up in the corner. It's a little suggested. Basically breaks down some of these things, but I'm just gonna break down where I found them. Um, price points, 50 cents. Um, Selena's Dreaming of You, which is a great album, 50 cents. And what's funny about this one is that I had gotten this, which is SPM. Uh, I thought it was SPM and I got excited and I opened it up and it's actually Sublime self-titled album, which is this album. Um, I'm gonna talk about this one, why I paid for this and I paid 50 cents for this, but it was in the SPM thing. So if you have time, make sure to look in the cases because sometimes you'll find even better cassettes. Um, not to throw shade at SPM, but the Sublime one was a really good find for 50 cents. And the thrift stores, yard sales, um, flea market cassettes, you definitely want to check them out. A lot of them have been moving around for years. Um, you can have make sure they have the little pad, make sure the cassette's cool, and it's not actually warped or anything if they're in the sun too long. I mean, this goes for any of the cassettes if you get them from in person pretty much, is just make sure they're in good condition. Um, there's nothing too crazy. You can see here, they're actually in really good shape. Um, the J card was in good shape. If there's water damage in the J card, it's kind of a good indicator that the J card being a little um, thing kind of makes a J. So, but basically that's a pretty good indicator of how well they were treated or what condition they are. Um, but I mean, even at 50 cents, um, it's worth the gamble. So it's worth a try. Place that you want to look for, I guess the second tier in price wise that you want to look for cassettes is record stores. Record stores usually carries a lot of these things pretty much on hand. So here's some of the ones that I picked up. I'll tell you the price point and what I paid for them. So this is Everclear, so much for the Afterglow. I picked this one up locally. It's in really good shape. It plays really well. I paid, I believe, $4 for this tape. Um, really good album all the way through. And the second one that I picked up is Nelly's Country Grammar. It does have Country Grammar, the song, EI, Ride With Me, which is really good songs. I believe I paid $4 for this one as well. Um, sometimes with the record stores, um, they have pretty good selection. Um, you will pay a little bit more, obviously, than a yard sale or, you know, flea market, but um, they usually do test them as well. So that concern of it not working kind of goes away. So you're paying a little bit extra for that, plus you're paying for the store and everything. So um, second place to keep in mind. The third place that you want to look for um, to try, there's pretty much three different things is one, just do a quick Google search on some of your favorite artists, type in whatever artist you want, and then cassette, and then you can find out if they ever pressed any cassettes. Um, then you can find it or hunt it down directly. But um, if you can do that, you can get it pretty much straight through the distributor. Here's the two of them that I picked up. I'll tell you the price point as well. I picked up Grimes Art Angels. I believe this one was Urban Outfitters. It is the red, I think it only came in red. Um, this one's Urban Outfitters, and I think Grimes may have put it out directly. I think I paid $12 plus shipping came out to like 16 Fantastic album. Um, highly recommend it. And um, with this passing, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody's still doing the distributing, but I picked this up when, um, rest in peace to Daniel Johnson. I picked up Hi, How Are You? And I think it was, I think about $15, $12, came out to about 16 Same with shipping. Um, that's just a good way of paying direct. You pretty much pay the retail price for it. Um, I'm gonna get into some of the later ones and some of the things, but pretty much paying retail price is that. Another thing that you can look for, there's a few subreddits if you're a Reddit user. Um, if you aren't, you can really use this community to, in your favor, but there's two, there's Cassette Culture, which talks about um, cassettes in general. Um, sometimes it's like collections and things, so if you're into cassettes, you can join that community and check it out, it's really cool. But there's another subreddit that's really small that I want eventually to build up. It's not mine, but it's called Cassette Release, r forward slash Cassette Release. I'll put links to everything down below. But Cassette Release is people post either their local tapes or if a big artist has their release tape, they post it on there. Sometimes they're only available for a couple days as a pre-order. Sometimes they're up for a while or sometimes they're up in a limited quantity to whatever. And so sometimes people will post how many cassettes are on there. They'll post it on the cassette release. So if there's an artist that you've been following and 
you want to share that information, you can post it on cassette release and then other people who are looking for that cassette will benefit from it. So I think that's really cool. So the more people into that, the better the community. And so pretty much keeps going um, full circle. So it's pretty cool. Some of those things, thrift stores, flea markets, um, record stores, and then online directly from the artists themselves or through a distributor that's directed to the artists or paying retail. And then it comes the last ones. It's pretty much going to be either third party sellers, someone selling it on eBay, or probably the most expensive is gonna be Discogs, depending on how desirable the album is itself. So I'll give you some examples here of things that I've bought on eBay. I've actually paid full price for these. Um, I was talking earlier about the SPM, what I found Sublime, 50 cents. I'd actually paid $20, which I think is very fair for this album. This is the Sublime self-titled. I paid for it, had it, and then I found it for 50 cents. This doesn't take away from the deal. I, they're both fantastic albums. Obviously, it's the same album, but it doesn't matter if I paid 50 cents or $20. I still feel like the album's worthwhile, but um, if you want to find something really, really fast or you don't want to wait to try to find it maybe in the wild, or maybe it's just really hard and you probably won't find it, you're going to have to look at eBay, um, but nothing will be under 3 $4. So those record store or even flea market prices, you probably won't achieve on eBay considering it does cost to ship, it does cost to do these things. So there is that. And then there's also Discogs. Um, a little quick thing about Discogs, you're gonna pay probably the most premium price depending on how rare the tape is itself. Um, I'll give you some quick examples. I picked these up off of Discogs or examples that I own and then I have the Discogs price. So. I think I paid $25 for this. This is the Kooks Inside In, Inside Out. Um, obviously, I'm not telling you to brag. I'm just giving you some information so you kind of have a mindset of what to go. This is a Malaysian print. You're going to see it really common with some of the later 2000s or I guess mid 2000s um, albums. You're going to see this kind of top. It's really common. So this is a Malaysian little thing. See, it's pretty much all of them. I paid about 25 bucks. For that, I think same for this, this is The Strokes, uh, Is This It, one of my favorite albums. I paid around 20, 25. Um, here's Arctic Monkeys, What People Say About Me, That's What I'm Not, same, Malaysian print. You're gonna see these really common on Discogs. Um, you do see them come up on eBay every once in a while if you're searching for specific things, but I feel, I feel like Discogs has a lot, of, uh, a lot of more niche stuff. And here's a prime example of why I consider Discogs a notch above eBay. I picked this one up back in the day, probably about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. This is Amy Winehouse's Back to Black. It is a Malaysian print. It is an official print from Universal. It's licensed and it sounds really good. This thing's really loud and like amazing. Um, I picked this up for $20 on eBay. I think someone from uh, somewhere, Indonesia, I believe, Malaysia something, um, shipped it out to me and it costs around $25, $25 with shipping. Um, there was one available, I couldn't find it on eBay, I couldn't find it on any other site. I'd seen Discogs and there's one available and they're asking $75. Um, I probably wouldn't pay that much for it. Even $20 to me was, I felt like a really fair price considering this is a really good album, but I feel like anything above that would probably be out of my price range for a cassette. So just something to keep in mind. Um, you will pay a little bit premium but that's why I kind of stacked it in that order of what you probably should be expecting, eBay, Discogs, or any kind of online store. You're gonna pay a pretty hefty price, and if it's a limited print, if it's you know limited release or a special edition, you're, you're gonna expect to pay a little bit more. You're obviously not gonna get you know, just retail price for this kind of stuff, so just something to keep in mind. Okay, so here's a bonus tip. Um, this isn't really a thing, but just be conscious and tell people that your friends that you like cassettes. Uh, one of my favorite gifts that I've actually ever gotten is cassettes. Um, I'd gotten these two cassettes. It's Caro Caro Bonito's Graduation, or Bonito Generation, I say graduation because it's a song on here, and uh, Caro Caro Bonito Time and Place. I'd gotten these both as gifts because I'm really outspoken about which cassettes, or just cassettes in general, I really like. Um, so, and they really, they know I really like these albums, so they got them for me on cassette, they knew I didn't have them. So I thought that was really cool. It's just a little tip, if you let people know your interests, you know, when birthdays or things come up, it's easier for you to be shopped for, I guess. Um, obviously it doesn't cost money, but just putting your interests out there a little bit, you know, you do find some people that, you know, get you cassettes and stuff. I think it's cool. 
it's not really a tip, it's just something that like, you put your interests out there, I think it'd be fun. So that's pretty much it. Um, I think it's really cool. I made a video talking about some of my collection. This is just a taste of some of the things because it has examples of what I'm talking about. But I do have a collection video. I haven't really been buying a ton of cassettes. If I find them for really cheap locally, then I'll pick them up. But if, other than that, I usually don't pick them up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I do have a cassette Instagram. It's cassette six. I think it's um, it has pretty much my whole collection photographed. I asked off to put some new ones like the character Benito stuff. But other than that, there's a pretty good wide variety. Check that out. And then obviously check out my Instagram, Ain't You Develop, same as the YouTube, where I talk about camera stuff. So if you like analog things, old school stuff, or just keeping some of the old stuff alive, I talk a lot about that too. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace.